Hello Angels, welcome to another tutorial. Yeah, uh, we're beginning to round up on HTML, CSS, this course in general. Today we're going to be talking about media query. Media query. Um, I know usually we use media query for writing responsive. Um, a responsive, what's it called? A responsive website. But that's, I don't want you to come in with that idea. Essentially, media query would apply a set of style when a particular condition is fulfilled. If that condition is true, then that CSS property would be applied on the website or essentially in that website. That's the essence of media query. So the media query is looking for a particular condition before it decides to apply what we are working on, of the CSS property that we wrote. That's the essence of media query, essentially. Now, um, I'm, I'm just going to just quickly create a external style sheet. I'm going to call this media. I've created a HTML before. Um, media.html. So now I'm just going to call this media.css. And um, as usual, I'm just going to start with background, uh, sorry, body. And I'm going to say uh, um, background color. And just say aqua. I just want to see if it's working. I'm going to link it here. I'm going to say link. Um, I'm going to say relative style sheet and then href yep so no not animation media media css good so let me just uh, So media.css. I'm going to open this in Media Finder. And okay, so it works. It works in practice here. It, it's it's connected. Okay. Now I'm back to this. Let me remove this. The keyword for applying media query is called media. So we're just going to put at media, at media. Now we are going to put, what they will put like brackets. This is like, I'm just giving you a very simple example. Then we'll put, we'll put a back bracket and then we'll put the condition that we want to be met. The condition that we want to be met. The condition that we want to be met. So if the condition that we type here is true, then the CSS property we type would apply. So here, uh, the first one I want to show you is or orientation. And then we we'll say portrait. No, no, not portrait, okay. Portrait, like this. Okay, then this is where we would apply the CSS property. So you do query braces and then enter then in between here is where you are yeah so here i want the body when it is portrait i want the body to be um have a background color of aqua right now if we inspect just right click inspect and once the screen becomes portrait it should change color so now it's in portrait mode because it's taller than it is wide. So you see it's gone back. So this is portrait mode, it's tall and it's wide. Another way you could look at it is this if you click on this. Uh -huh, now you can see it's this is your phone. So now just pick it for an iPhone 12 Pro or um uh, pixel 7, let's say pixel 7. So now this is in portrait mode. If you want to flip it to the landscape, so you click here, you can see now it's landscape, it, that style doesn't apply. 
nouns in portraits and it applies on this particular style. So this is for this is how we apply properties depending on if this is true or false. So once this is true, then it would apply. So now let's change this to landscape. So I want it in landscape, I want it to be red. So uh, refresh, there's nothing. Once it is landscape, you see it becomes red. So you could now decide that, okay, you want to, you can now um, apply something else. So let's copy this and paste. So here I can say that, okay, when it is um, portrait, I want it to be blue. And okay, so I refreshed now. It is landscape, so it's red, portrait is blue, landscape, red, portrait is blue. So that's the, the basic ideas. However, apart from just portrait and landscape, we can add other properties. Now we could decide that, okay, um, let me remove this. Okay, let me, okay. Let me remove this. So instead of portrait, I can decide that, okay, max width, there's something called max width. Yeah, this is another uh, condition that we could put. Max width, then we'll say, um, let's say 300 pixels. No, let's see, let's see if I can, no. Let's say 900 pixels, that's more like it. Okay, now the pixel, we want it to be, uh, let's say green. Okay, so I save that. Now, what does this mean? This is saying that keep applying these properties, keep applying these properties until you reach 900 pixels. It's saying that the maximum width that all these properties should be applied to is 900 pixel. So anything below 900 pixel, this will be applied. Let me say that again. What this is trying to say is that keep applying all these principles until this maximum width has been reached. That's what it's saying. Apply this principle until this maximum width is reached. It's, yeah, so if I remove this, let me refresh. So you can see now, if you look at the this corner here, you should see the pixel. So you can see this is 982. So it's not been applied because it has exceeded the max width. The max width here, no, what am I saying? Yeah, so yeah, it has exceeded the max width. The max width, as you can see, is nine is 900 and something. Meanwhile, here it is 900. It said the maximum width that this should be applied to is 900. So if I reduce it, see it keeps going. Once it hits 900, it changes to green. So that's what it's saying. It's saying the maximum for this should be 900. So once it passes, once it exceeds the maximum, once it exceeds the maximum width, do not apply. Do not apply this once it exceeds the maximum width. Apply this only if it is within this maximum width. So once it's like, okay, the max of this should be 900 pixels. Okay, that's that. Now, there's another one called minimum width. So, uh, so let me duplicate this. So it's, let's say, mean width. So let's just say, let me change this to 1000. Now, I want this to be aqua when, okay. So what this is saying is that, it's kind of like the opposite of this one, yeah. So this is saying that the minimum for this should be 1000. So if it is less, than 1000 don't apply it the minimum width of your of the viewport which is the minimum width of this viewport of the user the minimum width of the viewport should be 
1,000. Once it is 1,000, then apply it. If it is 1,000 and above, if it is 1,000 and above, then apply this. That's what this is saying. If it is 1,000, so the minimum, the minimum that it's looking for is 1,000 width. The minimum width of the screen that the browser is looking for is 1,000. Once it is more than 1,000, if it's 1,000, then it would apply. So if I refresh, of course, it's applying this, which is green because it is max width. So of course, and this is, if you look at it here, you can see it's 800, so it's less than. But the moment, so let's keep moving. So you see, once it gets to 900, it turns to white. Then we keep moving it. And then we see 1,000. It passes 1,000, then this is applied. This is applied. Now, we can decide that we want to add more um, properties to it. You can decide that you can combine more than one media query to it. So for example, you could say that the max width should be um, 900 and you want it to be so and. So you want to combine and you want the screen to be you want the orientation, I said screen, you want the orientation to be portrait. So when, it's only when it is both portrait and the screen is less than 900, that's when it would apply. So if we go like this, it's less than 900 already but it is not portrait yet so the moment it so now now it's less than 900 but it's not been applied the moment it becomes portrait then it's been applied okay so that helps you to combine as many css as possible if you want to do maybe you want to apply maybe one con so instead of, you know, this one is up and the same, both of them, both of them must be true. So this must be true and this must be true, right? This must be true and this must be true. Both of them have to be true for this to apply. Both of them have to be true for this to apply. However, let's say you want a situation that you want it, either it is 900 pixel or the portrait is, if the orientation is portrait, you want it to be one or the other whether it is 900 or the orientation is portrait that's it's, you want it to be one of them before this will apply so that's it, either this is true or this is true if at least one of them is true then this will apply all you have to do is put a comma so instead of using and you put a comma let me take it back and I refresh so now you see that immediately it hits less than 900, it have, it's been applied. Same thing with, of course, uh, once it hits this, it's portrait, obviously. Well, let me change that to um, landscape so that. So, okay. So now, obviously, okay, so now it is below 900. This is one of the conditions. So if <clears throat> I can decide to now change it to, so you can see this is landscape. For this particular one, it is the width is beyond, um, what's it called, 900 pixels for this one. But the moment I switch it to landscape, it still applies it. So it applies it for the situation. So it's either or. So once one of them is true, then this will be applied. So that's the basic, that's the whole idea for media query, essentially. So at the end of the day, media query will be used for making your screen um, responsive. What you usually want to do is that you, 
you usually say that okay when it's at this particular width maybe you don't want your nav bar to be at the top you want your nav bar to not be at the side you could do that you could just say okay you want to change something from fixed to to absolute depending on the media depending on the screen length or whatever rule you decide to apply that would depend so this is essentially the idea this is essentially the idea of of media query yeah and i hope you enjoyed this next and um, this kind of brings us to the end of our of the learning aspect of media query we're going to be doing a an example a practical example in the next one so that we can tie in all the knowledge we've, we've learned so far and do something probably probably with a Napa. Yeah. So see you guys in the next video.